The Minister of Tourism, Economic Affairs, Traffic and Telecommunications, the Honorable Ted Richardson, has reiterated the call that effective immediately a temporary stop on all applications for vending permits is implemented. This moratorium applied since February the 19th and will go on until February 18th, 2015. Only vending permits for less than 21 days are exempted by this moratorium. The Minister of Tourism, Economic Affairs and Traffic, Mr. Ted Richardson, also told St. Martin Newsroom that there is a stop on all bus and taxi licenses. Well, um, Mr. Dick, as you've seen in the newspaper um, of late, uh, we've put out a couple of moratoriums. One was on the vendors. The, also, the other one is also on the taxi uh, licenses. And the third one is on the supermarkets. What we're doing at the moment is we're assessing the markets. I have many, many different requests for many, many different things. But um, my whole approach is that we have to analyze our market. We have to look at what's good for the island. So <clears throat> with the economic affairs, what we're doing together with Romy, having an uh, assessment of the zoning, economic zoning, but also um, spatial zoning. And after we've done that, we'll go back and decide on what we want, how we want to do it, and then we'll be able to facilitate again those who wanting a vending license. Um, there are many different things. Now everybody, the initiative comes from the individual, but government doesn't have a real plan on that. And um, as I said when I came into office, what I want to do, a good assessment is very important to know what you want to do and how you want to help our people. Having, for instance, 20 supermarkets in one street is not what we need. Perhaps there might be enough in um, Arch Road, but uh, in Belvedere we don't have any supermarkets. So instead of them deciding where they want to go, we want to have a plan, a plan that works for the island, a plan that works for the people, and decide then where we can have and where we can facilitate it and make the space in the area where they want to vent, where they want to have their businesses done um, um, in such a way that it uh, helps our economy. Now, going back to the moratorium, there's also one on the taxi and bus license? Correct. Okay. And that was in effect before you came into office or um, you put it that in effect no, also? No, actually it was, a draft was made because I'm talking to the taxi associations as well. Um, and one of the complaints that I'm having is there are too many taxis. Um, now, I don't know based on what. Because maybe in the high seasons there are too few and maybe in the low seasons there are too much. Now, we have to come and bring a plan and make sure that we know what, server, what service level that we want. Also, for instance, we have to really assess how and what they should be doing. And I'm not doing that by myself. I'm involving the industry because we have to protect the industry. We might want to help the individuals, but at the end we might, we might spoil the whole market. So um, as a matter of fact, what I'm doing is um, putting everything on hold and one, a person told me very well, you can't fix a car when it's driving. You have to put it on stop, put it in the garage, and assess all the different things, and then fix the car. But if it's moving, you really can't. So that's really what I'm doing. I'm asking everyone for a little bit of patience. It's not to block anything. It's to fix things. All right. Um, a last question, uh, Minister. Um, what do you say to persons who you know, might criticize the move? Uh, for stopping it and saying that you are hampering the livelihood of those persons who want to um, actually um, provide for their family? Well, one thing, everybody has an opinion and is entitled to opinion. I have one responsibility, is to look after the whole of the island and I'll do it to my best interest, uh, best knowledge and to my best capabilities and I have to look at myself every day in the mirror to see that at the end of the day, am I doing it good for the individual or am I doing it for more individual, meaning the country. Um, they say that it's a bad political move. Um, would you say that um, you're not interested in doing any p good political moves then? <laughs> no, look, I'm, um, I'm not a politician. I, am, I have political responsibilities, but those political responsibilities have to match on a long-term basis. I'm not running for election. As you know, I'm not on a list. I, did, I was not on a list when I came in and I was approached from a professional angle and maybe looking at my capabilities. Those who I trust in that, I hope not to, um, um, not to um, spoil their trust. 
So um, it might look maybe on the short term of those wanting quick, quick, quick fixes. It might look as if it's a bad political move, but I think those who understand that, again, in building a house, you need a, a plan first. And if you start putting on rooms and rooms and rooms or stories on the, on the building without having sure and making sure that the foundation is right, the building will collapse. And um, we are at a stage maybe that if we don't fix things now, it will collapse. So hopefully people can interpret this as a good political move. What effect will this have on the economy of St. Martin? This is left to be seen. Reporting for St. Martin Newsroom, I am Andrew Dick.